Y'all, who wants to learn how to use GoodNotes on the iPad and more specifically, learn how to use it in your business to make your business run better? Cause I'm always looking for tips like that. Stay tuned. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am stoked that you are here. And if you are new here, I'm Jessica, your pilot on this aircraft, and I am here to teach entrepreneurs just like you how to use video and content marketing to have a bigger, better, more visible business. And sometimes that means that I get to teach you fun little tech pieces and apps and things that I love and I use so that hopefully you can turn around and use them too in your business. And today that is exactly what I'm doing with this fun little good notes tutorial. Now, before we get into the tutorial, make sure you hit subscribe right here on this channel so you don't miss any other tips, whether it be tech or marketing or YouTube or whatever focus, you don't want to miss it. So make sure you hit subscribe. Now, like I said, I got a fun new toy. It's the new iPad, and I don't know why they didn't give it a better name than that, Apple, come on now, but it's the it's not the iPad Pro, um, and so it's a cheaper version, essentially, of the iPad Pro, but the Apple Pencil does work with it. So that was the draw for me because I was like, you know what, I really want an iPad I can use the pencil with and I don't want to buy one that I can't use the pencil with. So when I saw these come out, I jumped all over it. Well, anywho, I got this new iPad, I got the Apple Pencil and I of course loved it automatically because who wouldn't? But I then stumbled on an app called GoodNotes and GoodNotes is an app that essentially acts like a traditional notebook or notepad that you're used to. So like a regular notepad that you have laying around on your desk, but in a digital version. And the reason that this appealed to me a little bit was because I love a good paper product and anything that falls into the category of stationery and paper goods, I am a nerd about it and I love it so very much. But I make notes like this all the time and have like sticky notes running around and they end up getting thrown away. I forget where I put them. I forget which notebook I made that note in. All of those like first world problems, right? So when I saw this on a digital version of a notebook, I was like, oh wow, because you can't lose it. I mean, if you lose your iPad, that's a problem all on its own. Anyway, I downloaded it. I've been playing with it a little bit. I wanna show you guys around it and I wanna show you how I'm using it in my business. So yeah, let's just jump into it. So first things first on the GoodNotes app, you actually need to go in and create a notebook. Um, so you can go in at the very beginning, create a notebook. You can create different categories for these notebooks. You can create whatever you want. So if you wanted a business category and a personal category and a um, family category, you know, whatever you want it to be, you can create those different categories and then have notebooks inside of each one. And then each notebook has its own notes inside of it. You can also import documents into the notebooks as well. So let's say I had a notebook for client notes and I wanted to import a document that they sent me. Maybe it was a logo or something like that. I can import it into that client notes folder and that way it's there even though it's not something I hand wrote. But you'll go in, you'll create whatever categories you want, you'll hit the plus sign, you'll create a notebook. Within the notebook, you can pick the cover and you can pick the internal pages. And what you wanna do there is just pick whatever your preference is, it does not matter. Name the notebook and go on about your day. Once inside the notebook, you you know can write on your note pages, you can do whatever you wanna do there. Um, you can highlight, you can erase, you can circle entire sections and remove them. You can do whatever. And I think like I'm slightly obsessed with it a little bit and I think it's awesome. Now there's so much more that you can do within it, but this is kind of the basic features. Now I will say that you can actually import, like if you have a textbook or something in PDF form, you can actually import it into the app as well and take notes on that. So if you were to be a student or 
taking some kind of class or be involved in some kind of, you know, maybe mastermind or group program where they're giving you a workbook, but they give it to you in a PDF form, you can download it here and put it into the GoodNotes app and take notes. So that's kind of the basic how-tos. There's nothing really crazy with it. Um, you can change the, the width of the pencil um, so that it's like super small fine print or you can you know, have a really large like marker type print. Same thing with the highlighter. You can change the colors and all of that good jazz. And some of the ways that I can see us business owners using this to really organize our business is one, client notes. Now, I am definitely a Google Drive kind of girl when it comes to taking notes at meetings. I will pull out my iPad or my laptop and I will take a note in a Google Drive note or like a doc inside Google Drive because I don't want to lose it. And that's kind of what my default is. But I, you can absolutely put pen to digital paper and take notes here as well. Have a whole folder or whole notebook for client notes. Have a whole notebook for a specific client. On that same note, you can absolutely, on that same note, Anyway, you can absolutely use this to take notes in meetings. So I go to a lot of like chamber meetings or local business centered meetings. So while I'm in these meetings with the chamber or whatever I'm doing, I can absolutely take like notes instead of having to type and be that annoying person typing. I can take a note and go on about my day. And I think it's awesome. I actually have a specific notebook in GoodNotes for chamber notes and that way I know where they're at. I don't have to search for them ever again. You can also sign documents. So let's say someone sends you a document and for whatever reason they don't send it through a service where you can sign digitally, which happens a lot, especially if you're dealing with a company that's not really used to dealing with digital signatures a whole ton or whatever. If they send you a PDF file or you know whatever kind of file, you can download it, pull it into GoodNotes, sign it with your Apple Pencil and send it right back on, which I actually had to do the other day and I kind of loved it, just saying. Now, the other thing that I can see us business owners using this app for is to brain dump. We all know that we have entirely too many ideas housed up in this little pretty brain of ours and we are constantly coming up with our next big million dollar idea or our next big launch or our next update to our program or whatever and we are storing it up here and sometimes it's too much and we need to dump it out. Dumping it out on paper is great if you can remember where you put that paper but for me, I have a whole brain dump notebook in here now where I can go in and say, okay, like, I'm gonna date it and just brain dump. And it helps me sleep. Like, I don't know if I've ever talked about this before, but brain dumping is something that helps me sleep when I feel like my mind is racing. So I just take out my iPad, go to town with what I need to dump and be done. Now, the other thing that I think we can use it for is just to scribble and have fun. So this app is awesome for that too. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the GoodNotes app. I know it was very basic, but I also really wanted to talk to the entrepreneur and let you guys know how you could use this app to get stuff done in your business and to replace all those messy papers on your desk because aren't we all always looking for a way to do that? Yes, we are. Until next time, make sure you hit subscribe. And I would love for you guys to comment below and let me know your favorite decluttering processes when it comes to digital files and things within your business. I would love to hear it below. And until next time, bye y'all.